फाइव जी कम्स विद लॉट ऑफ न्यू सर्विसेस न्यू सर्विस वर्टिकल्स एंड ए कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट नेटवर्क इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हाउ एवर टू इनेबल ऑल मेनी ऑफ दीज थिंग्स वी नीड टू हैव ए सम न्यू इंट्रोडक्शन न्यू थिंग्स कमिंग अप इन फाइव जी एंड वन ऑफ दोज थिंग्स इज कॉल एज एम ई सी एम ई सी इन फाइव जी एम ई सी विच वॉज इनिशियली कॉल एज मोबाइल एज कंप्यूटिंग एंड नाउ कॉल एज मल्टी एक्सेस एज कंप्यूटिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एम ई सी इन फाइव जी माई नेम इज संजय कुमार एंड आई एम फ्रॉम नैनो सेल नेटवर्कस सो वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग सम कर डिफरेंट लेटेंसीज हो वेयर इन फोर जी अवर्ट लेटेंसीज वर लाइक टेन टू हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड्स एंड नाउ वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग द लेटेंसीज इन ट्यून्स ऑफ वन मिली सेकेंड एट द सेम टाइम वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग डेटा रेट्स ऑफ वन जी बी पी वी हैड वन जी बी पी एस काइंड ऑफ डेटा रेट्स इन फोर जी एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव ए ट्वेंटी जी बी पी एस काइंड ऑफ डेटा रेट्स इन केस ऑफ फाइव जी सो वी लुक एट दिस अवर लेटेंसीज हैज रिड्यूज टेन टाइम्स our latency has reduced 10 times our data rates has gone up by 20 times to have these higher data rates it will put a lot of load on the backbone networks and hence we have to bring in our user planes closer to the end user at the same time to reduce the latencies we have to bring in the user plane closer to the end user and that is where our msc mec or multi access edge computing plays a very important role moving on three service vertical embb enhanced mobile broadband urllc ultra reliable low latency communication mmtc which is massive machine type communication all these three different verticals are going to have some or the other use case which is based on mec right so we are going to talk about why mec is important and what kind of roles it is going to play in 5g networks before we talk about it we are going to talk about something called as liquid applications which were introduced or in by nokia back in 2014 15 and they titled this as a coming to a cloud near you so coming to a cloud near you bringing the user plane or basically the cloud network closer to the end user however this was not a great success the reason was we did not have the sufficient application to consume these cloud applications or the liquid application closer to the end user at the same times our backbone networks were not that strong where they can fetch this data they can do the caching of this data closer to the end user so typically i consider this not as a failure but a, it was a little ahead of time so it was little earlier too early to market and that is the precise reason it was not a great success at that particular time however now 5 mec in 5g mec is going to play a major role so in this particular slide which is my favorite one of my favorite slide slide which comes from ieee in this case what we talk about is the complete end to end nuts mec in one nutshell so we talk about business transformation how you can transform your business by having shorter time to market and bringing in additional revenues and targeting new markets we need to have industry collaboration to do this we need to have cloud networks networks and the standards potential use cases what are the different potential use cases we have internet of things which is typically mmtc kind of service verticals connected car v2 v2 x where we are talking about ur llc ar vr we are talking about embb so as we mentioned earlier uh, we see the use cases of mec and each each different service verticals other than this it can be used for caching services we have something called as uh, content delivery network in it it infrastructure which is nothing but the delivering the content closer to the end user and that is something what we are going to achieve trying to achieve with mec multi access edge computing so it is nothing but enterprise and campus network ran aware video optimization tactile internet technical integration how do we do it so we need to have low latency communication where our latencies can be reduced drastically proximity bringing in closer to the end user virtualization doing all these things virtualization by using virtualization and improving hoe which is nothing but consume uh, quality of experience the challenges of course mec comes with its own challenges as well where we talk with the resources the user plane should be brought to the closer closer to the end user so our resources are going to be distributed reliability and mobility 
coexistence of distributed MEC and centralized cloud. So we are going to have a 5G core network, which is going to be centralized. And then we need to have a MEC, UPF and stuff like that closer to the end user. So we need to have a distributed network as well as a centralized network. Network integration, integrating, we have to open up our network to the third party applications or MEC kind of services so that they, they can integrate, they can implement all these applications to the networks. Coexistence of human to human and MEC traffic and security and privacy. These are some of the challenges what we are going to face in MEC. Characteristics of MEC, we have on-prem, it has to be on-premises, proximity closer to the end user so that your latencies can be uh, can be improved. Location awareness, you need to know the information, the location of the end user so that you can provide services according to their location and some information related to network context and stuff like that. So potential use cases, it has three different use cases. Some are related to the customer oriented services like 3D gaming, AR, VR, data processing, analytics and low latency applications. It can be some operator and third party services like connected vehicles. We have video analytics, big data, active devices, location tracking, security and safety and some services related to the network performance and the quality of experience improvement where we talk about local content caching, video delivery optimization, network optimization, optimization, etc. So this is what we have. So we can have different possible scenario deployment scenario for MEC. Either we can co-locate our UPF or MEC control at the with the base station itself. So your MEC host as well as your UPF is kept very at the same location as your base station. The another scenario, it can be somewhere with the transmission node. You can have your UPF as well as your MEC control in the transmission node or it can be created at a network aggregator level where you are aggregating your network services. You can implement your UPF and MEC devices. And finally, nothing but you can keep it just near to the centralized core network. So you can have different possible deployment scenario for MEC host and the UPF where you can keep it the base station level, you can keep it at the transmission node, you can keep it at the network aggregator level as well as you can keep it in a centralized network data center. That's all about this video. If you like this video, please, please like and subscribe this channel. And if you have any more, any more information, feel free to visit www.nanocellnetworks.com or you can email us at info at the rate nanocellnetworks.com. Please like and subscribe this channel.